Hey everyone, I think I'm just going to start a segment here called What the Heck is Darnell Up To Today? Well today we got a Mercury 400 V10, um, we're going to change uh, gear case oil on it and, and actually change the engine oil on it uh, also in a little bit here, but I'll get this, uh, see if I can get this flipped around. All right, well, we're back here. Um, so the first thing to do, uh, change gear case oil, is to uh, remove your prop. And that actually takes a inch and a half socket for the for the nut to remove that. Just uh, stick a block of wood up in uh, up in here and let the blade uh, hook on that, so you can get that loose. Um, it's on there pretty good, but not too bad. Okay. Then after you get the uh, prop off, there's two bolts that come out. Um, you can see there's one that'll be in here, your bottom one where it'll drain out. And then there's another one that goes in here to get it, give it air. And then actually when we fill it, it will pump it in the pump it in this bottom one right there until it comes out of there. So back to uh, changing this gear case loop. So, um, uh, interesting tidbit uh, when I drained it out of there it sure looks like this stuff that's coming out but uh, after a few, uh, talking to a few uh, dealers the proper stuff to be putting in there is this this extreme performance gear lube SAE 85W90 for use in racing high performance and extreme duty gear case applications so that is what we will be putting back in. Um, I don't know for sure yet, but I was told it's uh, like 54 or 56 ounces. So you will need two quarts because one quart is, bam, 32 ounces. All right. So then to do that, I just go to Walmart. Seems like every time I do this, I go buy a new one. So just go to Walmart and buy yourself a uh, gear lube pump and just put it. All you gotta do is put this tube on the bottom and then we'll, what we'll do stick this on there and we're just gonna screw this bad boy right oh it's kind of hard to do when you're doing this by yourself and all right so everybody can see it here so we'll screw this in the bottom okay and then we're gonna get our bottle of gear lube take and stick our pump in there Okay, all right, so now we're set up. We got our pump right here. Got the little yellow piece that screws right in there. You don't, there is an adapt, there is an adapter that comes with the kit right here, but you don't need that. Okay, so now we're just gonna start pumping this gear lube until it comes out of there, but we're gonna have to probably switch over and pump another quart in there. So almost another quart. So. Just cut this uh, short right here, and then I'll come back when I get the last of it in. So, okay. all right. Well, we're back. Uh, something I probably forgot to mention in the first part of this is I want to try and get get this as level as possible here. Um, another interesting tidbit. Um, like I say, we're pumping it out of the bottle here, um, and we're waiting for it to come out that hole right there well an interesting thing is um i had almost a quart in and i was actually getting oil out of that hole and uh, i guess if i wouldn't have known it's supposed to take 54 ounces uh, roughly uh one and three quarter quarts somewhere in that area i'm not too good at math this morning but uh um anyways uh so it started coming out of that hole uh so i just stopped for a while and let it set and uh, lo and behold, uh, I pumped a bunch more in until it bubbled out of there a little bit and let it set and pumped a bunch more in. And uh, what it must take is it's must have to fill that up. You know, this gear lube is pretty thick, um, so it must have to fill that up inside there. And then it settles down and you're able to put some more in. But let me see if I can. I got, I should have, well, I lost a little bit as I was pumping, but I should be real close. I think 10 ounces left in this jug right here that's where my 54 ounces would be but I'm trying to see if we can get this to 
burble out of there a little bit more. Like I say, you just want to, what I'm learning here is you just want to take your time and go real slow when you're doing this. Let that oil set in there. And like I say, I've lost some because it's it's burbled out of the out of the hole there. But see, there's a little bit coming out of there now. Okay, that's so now what I'll do is I'll probably let it set for a little bit. But that I'm already down to. I mean, I, I like like I said, I lost quite a bit each time of there it's running out of there pretty good now this time so we give it one make it just make sure one more time here that yeah okay i'm gonna call that good so we want to take our boat make sure that this yellow washer's on there it was on there till i wiped it and then it fell off then to do this 100 percent right you probably should replace those little yellow washers right there but we're just gonna screw that bad boy in see if i can get in there okay and then this one's going to be a little bit tricky here i might have to, i'm gonna have to put my phone down to to uh to get this done here but i'll be back in just a little bit yeah all right so we got that done so it's again tight with our yellow o-ring on our, our washer on there that one's tight also with a yellow washer on there um, and I did use some solvent uh, degreaser to clean this up a little bit so uh, just want to remember when we when it comes time to uh, putting the prop back on we're gonna want to get uh, get a little more of that uh, marine prop shaft grease I think they call it or whatever but we're gonna want to get get that onto the splines and maybe just a tad on this uh, brass uh, washer back here so and I'll, we'll go through putting the prop on here in a little while, but uh, we're going to switch over. Looky there. I'm going to switch over to uh, changing oil in the, uh, the motor. Um, so before you start this, another important thing is this is a new motor. This is the filter you're going to want. 8M0205848, specifically for the 350 and 400 5.7 liter V10. So those aren't easy to come by, people. So you make sure you want you have that before you start. And it's also going to take 10 quarts of our mercury 25W40 synthetic blend oil. So I'll uh, get set up for that. And then we'll proceed. Change the oil here in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Get yourself up uh, before you start. Make sure you got a lot of paper towels and a monster. Cool beans. All right. So let's start changing oil on this thing. So as you can see, we've got the hood off, the cowling off. What I like to do, come up here and just like to loosen this cap just so I can get some air. Yeah. And we're gonna come back down here. And uh, just had this hose laying around and thought, oh heck, we might as well put that on there and see how this works. Um, so I'm going to try and show how this works, I guess. If I don't know if I can do it with, without uh, uh, making a real big mess here. So what I did is we put the hose on this little port on the side right here, okay? Um, we actually have a 5 ace wrench that fits on there nice. It looks like uh, if you just have symmetric... Looks like a 16 millimeter wood work, but uh, no guarantee there. And so I'm gonna just try to hold that in there. It sure would be nice if the guy had some, uh, a little bit of help here, or maybe we'll figure it out. Okay, we'll just start out slow. Come up here, get a wrench on. You crack that. Okay. This one is about it. Okay. Here it comes. Here comes the oil. See it coming down? Alright. There it goes. They say it's coming out of our hose and draining. Draining right in there. 
So I suppose no sense boring you draining my oil. So uh, I'll come back when we're when we're all done. All right. Well, we got all ten quarts of that oil draining out of there. It was uh, slicker than heck. Oh, I guess while we're here, I guess there you can see the inside of that prop and the inside of that one there without that hook get in it. But let's uh, what more changes? We we'll get this. See if we can get this oil filter off. Let's see how strong I am today. But uh, you can see there's our numbers on our oil filter. Okay, now let's see how strong I am today here. What the heck? And I sure hope it oh, doesn't run all over. Because that would make a real big mess. There we go. And there it is. And there's the inside. Uh -huh. Alrighty. Okay. We'll get a new oil filter on there. Yeah, right. well let's get a new oil filter out here. Make sure so you got a little plastic coating on the cover on that. Make sure to get that off. Look at there, it's even kinda of, kinda of got a little bit of a oil film on it oil film on it already. But uh, don't condemn me for this part, but just take a little tiny little bit of oil on my finger here. I'm gonna go around the outside of that. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go up and get this bad. Get this silver done. Okay, our surface looks clean here. I'm gonna grab a... Okay, there we are. Get that started on there nice and easy. And there we go. That's tight. Okay. So that's tight enough for me. Hand tight. Usually you can you usually can feel it where it stops. So about a half a turn after it touched somewhere in, relatively in that area. But there we are. New oil filter on. All right. <clears throat> so it looks like we got all ten quarts drained out of that motor there. So we're just going to take our five eighths wrench. And we're going to tighten that up a little bit. I'm gonna have to get too crazy with this just so it's snug. There we are. Okay. And pull that hose off and then we'll get our funnel out and put our oil in. I don't think I need to bore too many people about that. Um, but we'll get the oil in and we'll be back. All right. Well, we're back. So, a little tidbit of information on this again is uh, from the ad mark. To the top is actually three and a half us quarts okay so what i did is i put my uh eight quarts in my two one gallon jugs and i checked it and i was right about there ish on the dipstick so then i put uh i put in two more quarts just like i said 10 quarts and that brought me up to right up in this top area of the of the okay mark so like they say there's the top and we'll just stick our dipstick back in there like that and that's a complete oil change um and actually another thing after i looked uh on the filter it says once it touches three quarter to one turn and that's about right where i was at uh right in that three quarter to one just looking over it again but um, we'll get the uh the cowling back on and then maybe i can uh, get this uh 20 24 believe it or not right 
there, 24. Camus DV 22 cleaned up. And then maybe we can go over a few things that they uh, changed for 2024 on this thing. Um, go over a little bit uh, what I found out with with the props. Uh, it came with a 27 bad boy right there. Uh, Go Marine. Happened to have a 29 just uh, right there. Just for me to try, uh, just to see how much difference it was, but uh, go over a little bit on that. And I will probably show you putting the prop back on, just uh, I'm sure everybody knows how to do that, but we'll we'll just cover that a little bit too here in, in a little bit. Yeah, all right. Now it's time to put that bad boy on that bad boy right there. You can see we uh, got some grease on our splines here. Not a lot, just a little bit. Uh, one thing I have found out is you definitely don't want to take this off right here and get and grease that shaft up on the back side here. Because what'll happen is you'll put that that wash this this piece right there back on, and it'll have that grease between that and the actual shaft. And when you go to tighten everything up, you're going to get uh, let's say a false tight, and what'll happen is you could lose your prop going down the uh, the lake. You know, so you may don't ever want to pull that off and put grease behind that. You can see here where I put just a really light coat on there. Just, just you can barely even see it. You know, like I say, some on the on the uh, splines right there. All right, get my hand off here. Well, let's see if I can do this. Get this dang thing off. Well, that's a start. Okay, there we are. Okay, we're on. So now, on these, you have just this one little thin washer. I always lay it so when I take it off, I put it back on the exact same way I took it off. So, we'll just put that bad boy on there. Our big old inch and a half nut. Get that. Screwed on. There, finger tight. Grab, I just got a little block of wood here, so we're gonna be tightening. So, that's all I do. See how that blade comes up and hits that little block of wood? Grab, grab our inch and a half. Put that on there. Actually have to go like this here. There. Okay. And that's tight. So that's a nylock uh, washer, lock washer in there. So you definitely don't want to put an impact on there and zip that thing off and zip it off because you'll ruin that nylon that's inside there. And you'll actually lose your locking ability of that, that nut. So, and then to get your block of wood out, just hit the blade like that. And there we're set um i guess another thing i just thought of uh to drain the oil that hose that i put on here that was uh roughly a half inch id hose to drain the oil out of there and uh i haven't put the cowling back on yet but that uh if you happen to have a buddy that's handy um would be nice taking it off and putting it on because it's actually uh pretty heavy so we'll get that put on and be back. And here we are again. So this is actually kind of neat. Got the, got the cowling back on. Uh, I'll show you how to uh, access your dipstick for your oil and stuff. So there's a little button right here. Push that. That pops open. Right there's your dipstick and your oil fill if you would ever need to add any additional oil. So, and uh, to lock the, lock the cover down, see that just lifts up and then you can lift the cowling off and put it back on push that in and then it clicks see like that and you're set that's it there